from um, uh, His Grace Adi Garudhar Prabhu's lecture. Uh, so this, uh, please bear with me, this is a, a small story uh, for Queen. So this Queen, um, with her uh, uh, many servants and king, uh, everybody went to visit Prayag one time. Uh, you know, Prayag is a, is a very holy uh, place. It's a pilgrimage. So um, uh, on the occasion of Kumbh Mela, uh, she went with her family, with the many servants in the kingdom to uh, visit Prayag. And she, um, everybody was taking bath um, at, at the Triveni Sangam where all the three holy rivers meet. Um, and so Queen being very, you know, she's royal, so she was uh, sort of uh, uh, covered and uh, uh, there is a you know, lot of people around her, so nobody can see her when she's taking a dip in the, uh, in the Holy River. Uh, so that way she, took a, she was uh, allowed to take a very quick dip and then she was back in her palanquin, uh, in her palki, and was whisked away very quickly. So she could not spend too much time doing all the things that everybody else was doing. So uh, everybody else was, uh, you know, uh, doing all kinds of rituals, the proper dip and uh, associating with the sadhu, so many things they were doing. So they were fully uh, relishing the, the holy, the, the uh, pilgrimage, you know, the purpose that they had come for, they were all full, uh, accomplishing that. So Queen, uh, when she was in her palki, in her palanquin, she started, she felt really bad about this, that she was not allowed to do any of the other things that other people were doing. She just took a quick dip and uh, uh, could not even look at any other devotees, forget about associating with them or learning from them, uh, nothing. So she started crying and she started praying. She was a very, uh, she was a very um, advanced devotee. And so she started praying very intensely uh, to Lord, and she prayed that you know I'm so beautiful, I'm so rich, I'm so powerful. I have I have such high birth. I'm born in such high class, and yet I'm not able to do any of the other things that even normal low class people are able to do. Uh, they are not beautiful. They are not powerful. They are not wealthy. Um, they are not born in a high family. But so what is the point of all of these opulences when I cannot do? when I cannot even relish um, coming to the pilgrimage. So uh, she was in this way lamenting and was praying to God very intensely that, hey Prabhu, in next life, uh, please don't give me any of these things. Don't give me a high birth, don't give me any beauty, don't give me any uh, wealth and fame and um, uh, a good family or anything, um, a high caste or anything. I want to be born in, in a very low class family, very ugly, no power, no fame, no wealth, nothing. Uh, so just like, uh, you know, how Queen Kunti prays in her, when we read about Queen Kunti's prayer, she says that people that have these opulences, they're actually, they can be hindrance in our uh, spiritual advancement in our growth towards Krishna. So in this way, she, the queen, this queen was also lamenting. So her prayers were fulfilled, and then the next birth, she came as. Can anybody guess? My, my mother guessed. <laughs> yes, so she came as Shabri. So, um, you know, these were her real intense, strong prayers. And so she took birth in like a, in a, a Chandal family almost. They were eating all kinds of meat and, um, uh, you know, animals and birds. and. Uh, and uh, at, like Raksha Mataji already told that story how she ran away just a day before her wedding. Uh, uh, and she still had all those sanskaras from her previous life that she wanted to associate with sadhu. She wanted to uh, uh, serve Vaishnava. She had Jeev Daya, Vaishnav Seva, all those sanskaras in her from her previous birth, even though she was born in such a low class family and had not uh, received any of this knowledge uh, in this birth. But yeah, she was not, uh, she had none of those material opulences. But, um, uh, and the rest of the story was pretty much what uh, Raksha Mataji told, but I just wanted to uh, tell about the uh, story of Shabri's previous birth, how uh, people that are inclined towards spiritual advancement do not ask for any kind of material opulences from Krishna when they pray. They um, ask for whatever would be, would be, um, uh, 
you know, anukul for progress towards Krishna Bhakti. That's what they ask for. And Queen saw that all those things were against her actually in her progress. So she asked for complete opposite and Krishna uh, gave her all those. And she, um, she was left um, a kinchan. So she had no family. Uh, she had uh, nothing at all when she reached the, when she reached the ashram of uh, Matang uh, Rishi and got to do everything that she wanted in her previous birth. She got to serve Vaishnavas every single day. Uh, she um, got to hear from them. She got to um, uh, personally serve uh, Lord Ram and Lakshman. Um, and uh, in, in this way, she fulfilled the goal of her life that she could not, and she had everything. I just wanted to share that uh, uh, story, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Very beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing. Great. All right. Who would like to share next? <clears throat> Rakshita Mataji, you want to share? You must have heard yesterday. Yes, Prabhuji. Want to share? No, Prabhuji, I don't want to share anything. Not right now? Okay. Not right now. Oh, yes, yes Chaitanya Prabhu. Chaitanya yeah. Prabhu will share next. Um, yes, Prabhu. Uh, Prabhu um, I had heard something recently about Vibhishan. And uh, he is like one of the very inspiring characters, devotees from Ramayana. So I can share something about Vibhishan. Is that okay, Prabhu? Yes, Prabhu, definitely. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so, um... like... go ahead, please. Okay, Mataji. Yes. So, uh, <clears throat> what I'd heard that uh, starting from Vibhishan's birth, uh, you know, the demons were. Um, they were very disheartened that all their all their endeavors were failing, and they felt that uh, because they had that passion, the mode of passion, uh, but they didn't have the Brahminical, um, you know, effulgent stage. They wanted to have an, an offspring who would have both the passion of the demons and the you know, the prowess of Brahm, Brahmins as well. So there was one demon called uh, Sumali. Uh, he had um, he encouraged his daughter Kekishi to approach a very powerful Muni, uh, Um, And then you know, she served him and then she pleased him and you know, he, 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 he was pleased by her service. So he asked her for uh, what boon she wants. And she said she wanted to continue uh, serving him uh, as, as his wife. Um, so he accepted it, but because he was a powerful Rishi, he understood what her intentions were, that you know, that the demons want, want uh, uh, offsprings who, who who will be both like Brahminical have the Brahminical power, but also the demoniac power. So he said, "Okay, I know what your intentions are. So the offspring that will be born will be more demoniac um, uh, than than there'll be Brahmins. So then uh, was born Ravan, then Kumkaran, and then Surpnaka. But then she said that you know, but but all these three are like complete demons." At least I've done some some service to you in, in some good intention, something I've done for you. So he said, okay, you know, one one um, child that, that will come will be a great devotee. And that's how Vibhishan was born. Um, and then the lecture devotee was explaining what is the meaning of Vibhishan. So Vibhishan, um, Amogriya Prabhu is only explaining that means as a person who's always in fear or anxiety. So um, that doesn't sound very nice in this world. But Prabhu was explaining that his fear and anxiety is that he sh that he never, by any mistake, uh, you know, offends any devotee, offends any guru, doesn't break any rules, doesn't you know, disrespect the shastras, um, and that's why he's always very, very extra cautious, and that's why he was in this anxiety and fear, which is a very healthy uh, anxiety and fear. That's why his name was Vibhishan. And then um, now it goes on to describe that how. All the, the brothers and sisters, they started performing lots of penances so that they could get powerful boons. And we know how you know, how Ravan had the boon of being Amar, not Amar, but not being able to be defeated by uh, so many other classes of people. And then Kumkaran and then Sutnaka. Um, and then when Vibhishan's turn came to ask, 
for, for any boon. You know, they all thought he's going to ask something that will make us more powerful. But all that he asked was, he, he asked Lord Brahma that just, just all that I want is that I never forget the name of Lord Hari. And I'm always, always engaged in remembering him and serving him. Uh, and they all, the, the brothers were astonished. Um, and, and they sort of um, chastised him, but you know, he did not pay attention. He continued in his Hari Bhakti. Um, and then you know, going on further in Ramayan, um, when, when he, he had uh, abducted uh, Mother Sita, uh, Ravan had had, then um, Vibhishan at that time, you know, and in the, in the, in the court, he had, um, you know, he had, he had warned Ravan that, you know, that you are, um, that the Supreme Personality of Godhead is there on the other side and he's very powerful. And you've just seen what one, one monkey from his army has done to whole Lanka. Um, and you should return this. Uh, you should immediately return Mother Sita to save, to save Lanka um, and the people of Lanka, and not not take us all down in your own greed. Um, and you know how you know how he was disrespected, Vibhishan, and you know, Ravan's son Indrajit also you know disrespected him, and you know said so many things against him that oh you no know, we take care of you, and instead of you know praising us, you're praising the enemy. And in so many other ways, he was disrespected. But because you know, Vibhishan was a pure devotee, you know, he did not take any, any offense. And how Chaitanya Mahaprabhu describes, Tunada Pisu Nichena, Tarora Pisa Hishrunam, Amana Niya Manadena, Kirtanya Sadahari. He very humbly took his crown and he put it in the feet of Ravan. And he said, you know, I don't want any royal kingdom. I don't want any royal family. All I'm asking for you is to do the right thing is to give up your anger, lust, and greed and surrender to the Lord. You know? He did not take any offense in any way, uh, like Vibhishan did not. Uh, anyhow, you know, Ravan was, was hell-bent, um, as we all know the story. And then you know, Vibhishan, then he left uh, Lanka to go and um, join Lord Ram. You know, he had three options at that time, the devotee explains. Um, so this, this is from Chaitanya Charan Prabhu's book that um, he could either fight Ravan at that time. He could you know, gather some of his other friends and fight Ravan himself, but he knew that was not possible. Or he could just leave and say, you know, he's not my brother. <laughs> I don't know him. I have nothing to do with him. I'm leaving. Um, and the third thing, you know, what a devotee does, even in difficult circumstances, he made the difficult choice of going against you know, his brother and joining and serving, uh, serving God, even if it felt like it was against his family. So he approaches uh, Lord Ram. And then you know, the other uh, you know, wonderful, amazing thing that we learn from Vibhishan is um, Chaitanya Charan Prabhu describes is how in life, you know, we are also faced sometimes with this situation where you know, if we, you know, Vibhishan's position was very precarious because you know, if he left, when he left Ravan, you know, he knew that if Ravan and company find out that he left them to go to the enemy, and they are not going to leave him, no. So he cannot come back to them. <laughs> and the enemy also, mostly they'll be suspicious. You know, they'll say, "Oh, he's a spy." You know, he came as a spy, and he's, he's going to, you know, uh, make us lose this this battle. We don't, we can't trust him. So he was in a situation where his material, you know, the the family in Lanka was also going to be trust, you know, not trusting him, and the other side is also not going to trust him. And similarly, you know, the, the devotee explains that sometimes in our life, also in our bhakti, uh, we are in a situation where something that we are doing right now is, you know, is not uh, appropriate, and we are uncomfortable leaving it because we feel that you know, if we leave it and we don't become a proper bhakt also, then we'll be stuck in no in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Better to stay on one side. Um, but how he left uh, the company of Ravan, and he approached uh, Lord Ram, and then um, another lesson that comes after that is. Uh, how Lord Ram, uh, you know, everybody, when, he come, when Vibhishan comes to Lord Ram, everybody says, you know, don't trust him, don't trust him. He's a, he's a brother of your enemy. <laughs> how can you trust him? You have to capture this person. Except one person is that uh, Hanumanji. Lord Ram asks and Hanuman tells Lord Ram, no, no Lord, you have promised that uh, whoever comes to you and takes shelter of you, you will give him protection. Protection and and he's a devotee and he's come to take shelter. So Lord Ram immediately uh, awards him, gives him bhakti, uh, because you know, how Hanumanji how described that uh, because Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, 
सर्वधर्मान् परित्याजय मामेकं शरणं रजा अहम् त्वम् सर्व पापे भ्यो मोक्षा इशामी मासुचा सो एंड बिकॉज़ हनुमान जी रिमाइंड्स लॉर्ड दैट यू हैव प्रॉमिस्ड दैट एनीबडी हू टेक्स शेल्टर ऑफ यू यू नो यू विल अब्जॉर्ब ऑल देयर सिंस सो ही एक्सेप्ट्स लॉर्ड राम एक्सेप्ट्स विभीषण सो दैट इज आल्सो अ पावरफुल एग्जांपल टू टू लर्न फ्रॉम लाइफ ऑफ विभीषण एज अ ग्रेट डिवोटी दैट्स ऑल आई हैव टू शेयर थैंक यू वेरी मच Thank you, Prabhuji. So nice. Hello. Hare Krishna. Yes, Nehru, now what is you want to share? Can I say head something that I yes. just heard in today's the lecture that uh, Vibhishan on his house on the wall wrote Ram Ram Ram. So then, uh, when the Ravan came uh, to the house and so that then he he was really mad that how why are you uh, you know worshiping him who is my enemy so then vibhishan said that no no this is not that i'm worshiping ram this is ra is for ravan and m ma is for mandodri so i'm you know worship, worshiping you and um, your wife you know mandodri that was i just heard that in one of the lecture today hare krishna hare krishna thank you mother ji okay who else would like to share on um any section of ramayan anybody else would like to share hari hari krishna prabhu ji yes mother ji go ahead um prabhu ji i heard one lecture of kamu amogli na prabhu ji so i a little bit i heard so i want to share that only because i didn't know this one so i'm sharing that one if it is okay so प्रभु जी उन्होंने बताया मुगला प्रभु जी ही वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट जो टू स्क्रिप्चर्स हैं जैसे एक वाल्मीकि जी की रामायण है और दूसरी तुलसीदास जी की रामचरित्र मानस है तो इन दोनों के अलावा भी और रामायण है जैसे कि कम्ब रामायण बताया उन्होंने इट इज फेमस इन साउथ इंडिया एंड इट इज रिटन बाय कम्ब ऋषि और एक और है इट इज आनंद रामायण which was told by uh, shivji to parvati ji and there is another one adhyatma ramayan which is written by ved vyas ji so mm, these all versions are available so that's why i wanted to share with you hari krishna hari krishna thank you mata okay who else would like to share hari krishna prabhu ji Hare Krishna and Prabhu please go ahead so i don't have much but i just uh, want to just add a couple of lines to uh, chaitanya prabhu's uh, uh, discussion and um, thank you chaitanya prabhu for such nice uh, discussion and uh, points so uh, just uh, where chaitanya prabhu left when he talked about that how vibhishan came in the sharan of shriram and shriram took him um in his sharan uh, so just that reminded me that after that he actually even coronated vibhishan as the king of lanka right and and, um, and he gave the lanka to vibhishan and then some people some you know the the people who were watching uh, they were very surprised by lord shri ram's you know uh, that how um, forgiving he is and even that you know people were crying looking at this bhav of shri ram and uh, how he is uh, able to take even the enemy brother of the enemy a demon and uh, take him and give him the highest respects and made him his friend and uh, coordinated him so somebody asked shri ram then that uh, you know uh, you have uh, given you know 
uh, the whole Lanka to Vibhishan and you're saying that anybody who comes to you, you will uh, forgive them. Anybody who comes in your sharan, you will forgive them. So what if uh, Ravan comes and uh, now Lanka you have already given to Vibhishan, then, uh, then how would you be able to please him? And uh, was that Ravan comes and asks for forgiveness from me and is, uh, you know, accepts uh, for, uh, and asks for forgiveness, then I will forgive him. And this was, you know, after so much pains, Sri Ram had to go through the separation of Mother Sita and all, all that. And, you know, there's nothing about revenge or anything. He didn't say anything. He said that even if Ravan will forgive him, and then somebody says, but he has, uh, you know, he have given his kingdom to Vibhishan. Then how can he be happy? He said, I will give him Ayodhya. Because, uh, so, you know, I'll, I will give Ravan Ayodhya because, uh, uh, you know, he, uh, that will be, you know, bigger than Lanka. And, um, and uh, Bharat is, right now Bharat is, uh, the king of Ayodhya, but he, Bharat actually lives in my heart. So, so that is the actual position of a devotee that Bharat is so uh, exalted that he has the kingdom of my heart and, um, and he will not mind if I give Ayodhya to Ravan. So that is just a beautiful, you know, um, the this, this sort of, uh, Bhav was just amazing of, of that. So just wanted to share that. Hare Krishna. Hari Hari. Amazing. Thank you, Prabhu. Thank you for sharing. All right. Who else would like to share? Glories of Lord Ram. Anybody else? So we have a few more minutes left. If devotees want, we can play Kahoot quiz if nobody has anything else to share from the past times of Lord. So should we play or not? Okay, somebody would Prabhuji. Yes. Prabhuji, on Bhag yes, Bhag Ramayan, Ramayan, Ramayan. Ramayan, you all watched so many lectures on Ramayan. So now we can play from Ramayan. Is that all right? I can play, Prabhuji. Okay, great. So I'll share the screen. <laughs> 